Hello, I am Zarkoon. This is World of Warships Legends. Today, I've got another community replay for you. This battle is played by Nemesis Corrupt in the Tier 5 German destroyer Gaeta. And it's not going to be a very high damage game by the end of it, but it's going to be a very effectively played one that demonstrates some nice tactics for destroyer players to use when facing enemy destroyers and enemy ships of every class in games like this. The Gaeta is, of course, a Tier 5 German destroyer armed with cruiser caliber guns. It's got four 150 or 152 millimeter guns, same caliber you would find on many of the light cruisers in this game. And in that sense, it's an effective destroyer gunboat with relatively slow reloading guns, but a high alpha strike. Enemy Fabuki is spotted in front of Nemesis here. He's opening fire. You can see that the reload is pretty slow, but when the shells hit, they do pack quite a punch, unless only one of them hits, in which case the punch is not super well packed. The Fubuki is busy trying to launch torpedoes at the friendly destroyer over there, and he does kill that friendly destroyer, but Nemesis kills him. An enemy T-22 has popped up. He's already launched torpedoes in Nemesis's direction, and for whatever reason, he is not shooting with his guns back at Nemesis. The torpedoes, I think that was a widespread. Nemesis is very easily able to dodge them. The T-22 is smoked up in front of him, inside of the capture circle, and of course the Gata comes with sonar, which can detect enemy ships hiding in smoke screens from pretty far out. So now, since that T-22 is still inside of his smoke screen, he's blind to Nemesis on the outside. Nemesis has been spotted now by another ship, but the T-22 has already paid for this with hit points. Nemesis is forced to back off as the T-22 shoots what appears to be armor piercing at him. Definitely a questionable decision. His engines, though, are broken, so Nemesis Corrupt is able to finish off the T-22 with relative ease. A California is out there, and I think another enemy battleship. Actually, yes, a number of enemy ships are out there, including a Tier Four Japanese premium destroyer, the Kamikaze, which is known for one thing, and that is it's very, very quick reloading, although somewhat short-range torpedoes. One thing it is not known for is the efficacy of its guns, which reload much slower than the Gatas and don't do nearly as much damage when the shells hit. Nevertheless, we haven't seen the last of that kamikaze who in line with his other destroyer teammates, is going to make some questionable decisions in very short order here. Nemesis is launching torpedoes sort of in the direction of that California who is outside of torpedo range, but also in the direction that Twist and Track is indicating. So there's a chance that these torpedoes might catch the enemy kamikaze, who apparently is quite close since Nemesis was briefly spotted there and now he's not. Don't think that torpedo salvo is going to end up hitting anybody. Definitely not the kamikaze who has just appeared on the map and is unwisely picking a gunfight with a destroyer whose guns are much much more effective. In the Kamikaze's favor, he does have support from, I think, an enemy Omaha out there who is shooting at Nemesis and missing the vast majority of his shots, although that one does 
some problematic damage in the form of knocking out Nemesis's engine there on the Gata. But the Kamikaze, once again, not a gunboat, very much a torpedo boat, and inadvisable if you have it to pick a fight with the Gata. The Kamikaze goes down, Nemesis is now able to smoke up and try to save himself from taking too much damage from the enemy Omaha. Unfortunately, Nemesis was the only one spotting the Omaha. So as soon as the smoke screen is up, the Omaha disappears from view, firing blindly into the smoke screen along with, I think, that enemy California out there. None of the shots, though, connect with the Gata inside of the smoke screen. Nemesis is going to reverse out in an attempt to get sight of the Omaha. He sends a single salvo of high explosive the way of the cruiser, and his smoke screen is beginning to run out, so he's going to launch torpedoes in the direction of where the Omaha was sailing and disengage, which is very important if you do smoke up inside of a destroyer and you have an enemy cruiser in a position to push into your smoke screen, staying inside of that smoke screen when you don't even have sight of the enemy cruiser is likely to end with your destruction. So Nemesis gets out and enters the center Bravo cap to help his teammate flip it for the blue team. They already have control of Charlie and securing this cap will give them a majority on capture points. Nemesis does end up helping to secure the Bravo cap and that puts his team at an advantage. They have almost double the points of the enemy team, although the ship count is very close with six blue ships versus four red ships. Of course, being that the blue team has two destroyers left alive and the red team is composed almost entirely of battleships and that I think Omaha is the only cruiser there, of course the blue team has an advantage. The Omaha looks like he's poised to come around this island, giving broadside to Nemesis's Gata, which, again, has cruiser-caliber guns, and therefore cruiser-caliber armor-piercing. So, it can do things like that. 11,000 damage in a single salvo against a broadside Omaha, who promptly goes down to some fire from the other friendly ships out there. Now this is the only point in the game where Nemesis does something that I don't really agree with and that I see of as kind of a mistake. He's spotted by this California and this other battleship. The California gets a nasty, nasty hit on him that could have killed him if RNG had been more favorable to the California, but he is continuing to shoot his guns. He doesn't have a smoke screen to use in order to disengage, and shooting his guns is going to only ensure that he remains spotted by these two enemy battleships. That one out there does get a single hit on him with a single shell. Had it been more accurate, he probably would be dead by now. So Nemesis does, in my view, correctly decide to stop shooting, which results in him going dark and eliminates the immediate threat posed by the two battleships who appear to, at least right now, have nothing better to shoot at than the Gata in front of them. Torpedoes are back online, so Nemesis is going to try to evaluate what this California intends to do here before he launches them. And it looks like the California is turning He's going to make a very hard turn, in fact, and those torpedoes are all going to miss, which is quite unfortunate. Now, if we want to look at the score Nemesis has racked up here, he does have three kills and only just under 40,000 damage done, although he is going to pass that 40,000 damage threshold right now with some shots on this California who is not going to return fire in his direction, but he does still have to worry about that other enemy battleship out there who I think has been shooting high explosive at him, which 
you know, pretty problematic for a destroyer. Luckily, he is unspotted. His fire on the California does continue to burn. So now he is going to move in a little bit more aggressively. Doesn't look like there is too much to lose by doing this, since the blue team is far, far ahead on points, and there are only two enemy ships left. California is in view again, so Nemesis is going to open fire. California is having to deal with the other friendly destroyer. It looks like he managed to dodge all of those torpedoes heading his way. And with his smoke screen back online, Nemesis deploys it just as the California takes down the final remaining friendly destroyer and is moving toward Nemesis's smoke screen, which is going to put him at risk of eating quite a few torpedoes. Nemesis takes one launcher, sends four torpedoes in the direction of the California, and then sends another four in the direction of the last remaining enemy battleship. There are two ships left in the game. Nemesis has three kills. So he does have the opportunity to get a crack in Unleashed Metal. And if he's going to do that, then he's going to have to take out this California by means of shooting at it, since all of the torpedoes have missed. Not a very tall order for the Gata. Nemesis does get the kill on the California from the fire he had lit on it previously. That just leaves a final New York, who doesn't even have his guns pointed in this direction and is taking fire from pretty much all of the rest of Nemesis Corrupt's remaining teammates. The smoke screen is about to expire. The New York is very close. Nemesis being one of four ships left against a fairly low health battleship now has very, very little to risk if he is to get killed and a lot to gain if he can finish off this New York and earn himself the Kraken Unleashed Medal. He's only done about 62,000 damage throughout the course of this game. Keep in mind that much of that was done against enemy destroyers, and even though the raw damage total isn't super, super impressive in terms of being incredibly high, the XP that Nemesis will earn at the end of this game will be a lot more impressive because of just how effective he was in this game. He does kill the New York, he gets the Kraken Unleashed and the Confederate Medal, and the battle ends with his team's victory. Hope you enjoyed this game. Nice little example of some effective destroyer play. If you did like it, give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already done that. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.